this episode of Back to the Basics, we're going to talk adhesive. So one thing that we need as scrapbookers um, is to be able to adhere everything to our page or our notebook or whatever style that you are choosing to use. And to do that, you need adhesive, be it tape, other kinds of tape, tacky spray, mod podge, liquid glue, all sorts of things. So this is where I kind of keep all of my non-essential adhesives and they're used for different things, right? So my tacky spray is actually going to be used for re-adhering my mats, like my silhouette and cricket mats. That's what I would use this for. However, I would use Mod Podge, which is a liquid glue for adhering paper to chipboard. So if I'm making a book, a book binding, I would need the Mod Podge in order to spread the glue and the love on that paper. Um, I've got a multi-purpose spray glue. I don't really use this much, but just in case I do happen to have a project that's not scrapbooking, it says it's great for photos, fabric, glass, foil, cork, plastic, wood, films, all those kinds of things. So I keep that around. It was a dollar. What I do not recommend for scrapbooking is glue sticks. So glue sticks, in my experience, do not hold against the test of time. They, depending on the glue stick I get, you get, I guess, they dry out quickly. Um, and the amount of adhesive to the strength that you need is not enough. So glue sticks are not something I use in scrapbooking and something I also don't recommend. Oh, what else do I have here? I've got my art glitter glue, which I do highly recommend. So make sure you get the one that dries clear because I mean, this dries clear. These are my most three popular liquid glues that I use and make sure you get the dries clear art glitter glue. Um, it's water-based, non-pot toxic and permanent. I don't think that uh, this specifies that it's permanent. So don't use this, just don't. There might be other applications like a kid's project or something. Um, and then the other thing that I use is tacky glue. This is because it's quick drying. This one is not as quick drying, but once this one runs out, I'm not gonna replace it. I'm gonna keep just with my art glitter glue. Some other liquid glues that I use are the three in one, which is for dimensional pieces and my super glue, which I actually haven't opened yet, but I use these interchangeably. Mm, this glue and this glue I don't usually pull out too often. These are here because they were a dollar and I just couldn't pass up a good deal on adhesive. <laughs> but, you know, that's kind of how it goes. This one, what happens is that when it dries, it dries tacky. So if you want to make your own glue dots, that's something that you can do here. I personally do not like glue dots. Um, I guess that's another adhesive we can talk about. Let me go grab my glue dots. So these are glue dots. And what it is, it's just a little piece of adhesive. Let's see if I can get it off so I can show you. That um, is kind of stretchy. And it is adhesive on two sides. And you can just glue stuff to it. I don't personally use these for scrapbooking. I have them because I picked them up on sale. Those sales, man, that's what gets me. <laughs> but uh, it just comes in this box and you just tear off the excess that you don't need and it just pops in there. So you can make your own glue dots with the best glue ever. Let's move on to non-glue, right? So non-liquid. So this is kind of just going to go back in here. It doesn't it all fits eventually. The method that I prefer to use is tape. So I've got a couple different tapes here. These are adhesive squares. So literally it is a white piece of paper with adhesive on either side. 
Now, the reason I don't like them is because they're super small. And you would put them in the corner of your photo. And that would be it. So I'm not a huge fan of these. I pull them out every once in a while for something like buttons. If I don't want to pull out my liquid glue, I would use this on a flat back button. Flat backed button. So that is where I would use the squares. And then you've got tear and tape. So tear and tape is something that you can get at Dollar Tree, and that's where these are from. And it is just a double-sided tape. Okay, so it's sticky on that side, and it's sticky when I take this backing off. So this backing is like sticker paper, where it's going to release from the tape eventually. You know, struggle bus over here. Uh, one reason I don't use this type of double-sided adhesive very often is because instead of one fluid motion of adhering, right, I have to go in and I have to peel that backing off, which I'm really struggling with right now. So here's my adhesive. That's what it looks like, okay? All bundled, bundled up. So I could, if I wanted to, I can roll this into a ball and get the same effect that I would if it was a glue dot. Okay. So different. The time that I use this is if I am making a album, like a mini album, because this is just a little bit stronger than my ATG. Now ATG is exactly like this. However, there's no backing. So if we look at here, look, it's, it's a round thing right with no backing and it's just adhesive on a release paper this is one less or well a couple less steps because right on here i would need to place my tape rip it and then take the backing off this thing is pretty nice because you roll and then you press the trigger while you roll to get it to actually roll with you See how the tape is coming off on my finger? That would be where you press the paper. Very neat. The reason I primarily use this is because I got a lot of tape out of it. And it supports a lot of tape, right? So there are tape runners that are double stick adhesive rollers. And they're very small. So if I were to look at this one pack, excuse me as I open it and struggle to do so, there is this much adhesive. Like that's it, okay? And it says, uh, it looks like maybe 21 feet per roll, where this just has a lot more. Like a lot more. Okay. This probably has about half the amount that this one does. But if this is something that you want to try out and you're new to scrapbooking, this is where I would start. The permanent, make sure it's permanent, and photo safe, acid free tape runner, and some art glitter glue. These two will get you everywhere you need to go. If you want to be super cheap, you can go this way. This is a pain in the butt, though. Just saying. The last double-sided tape that I have is this red line tape. Now, red line tape is the strongest of the double-sided adhesive. So if you need something to really stink and stick, that's where the red line tape comes in. It is pricier because it has a stronger adhesive to it. Okay, not for beginners. Beginners and beginners. Okay, now this application is similar to this application. Let's grab some scrap paper. So on here, I would need to pull the trigger and then run it, and there's my adhesive. This guy, you pull, pull this flip down and it sticks. That's not always the case. Sometimes it's a little dealio that comes off. And I'm just going to take this and it's double sided. So now my adhesive is here. 
So when I go to press this down or put whatever it is, it is, will stick pretty well. Okay, you can see how sticky that is. So that is the double-sided adhesive runner. I like this better than pulling this off and then having to pull the backing off. Just not a fan of this process, but they're all essentially the same. So normal adhesive, you need to make sure it's acid free if you're going to put it on your photos. If it's not on your photos, eh, I don't really care, honestly. What I used to do when I started scrapbooking is I made this into a loop, which made it double sided, right? I stick this on, stick whatever else I want on top of it. Now, I don't recommend that because you're going to have to use a lot of adhesive in order for your photo to go down. Just one of those loops over time will start to sag in whatever direction you have your album sitting. So this is more for adhering the back of like a gutted piece of paper. So if I took two pieces of paper and I wanted to land them on, on top of each other like this, but I wanted to save the paper that's in the middle here and being covered up. That's called gutting. So I would gut the middle of the paper. Now, when you slip this into an album, what can happen is you catch on that edge of the paper. So I just lay my single-sided adhesive that's not acid-free on those edges and moving in and out of my album is a lot quicker. I also back this if I'm stitching on my layout. Okay, so I would really have single-sided adhesive, your art glitter glue, and a double-sided tape somehow. Okay, so those are the three that I would start for beginners, but really, you only need this one. This is bonus, and this is bonus. Just get your single-sided. Anyway, two more, two more types of adhesive I want to go over. This is mint tape from scrapbook.com. So mint tape is used when you don't want to damage your paper and this is equivalent to a sticky note. So just a paper tape that is low tack, so a sticky note, right? So say you want to put a die on your piece of paper and run it through your machine if I take this off, it's not going to rip the paper like something like this will, right? So that's mint tape, low tack tape. Last thing I want to talk about is foam. So foam comes in a couple different ways. You can get foam squares where you stick the square down, you take the backing off and do the things. Or it comes in like a roll. So you do the same thing with like the tear and tape. Uh, you can tear it or you can cut it. In this case, I probably would have cut it. And then you take the backing off. I do not believe that foam tape comes in something like this where there's no additional backer. You will have to get something with a backer. But this is used to pop up any elements on your page. Not necessary, but nice to have. Don't forget that I'll list as many of these products down below so that you can check them out and uh, get some for yourself. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.